Well, today we're on another job site that we're doing a directional bore geothermal loop field with a company called Best Bore does all my directional drilling. And I want to give you a little heads up on what they're trying to do. This machine actually spins an auger under the earth at horizontal positioning and it takes these drill rods under the earth at an angle and they can turn it and steer it to a certain point and the drill rod will come up way back in the corner of the property where we'll hook on to some geothermal pipe and pull it backwards. The benefit of this type of a system is that there's less mess, less digging of the yard and we can go under lakes and ponds and bridges and roads and houses, etc. So it gives us a great diversity in how to put a system in for a homeowner. watching these gauges which maintains how much hydraulic pressure is on the machine, the orientation of the head bit, and the pounds of thrust. All this information is transmitted to him by a radio sound down at the other end of the property. Now you can see that we're down at the end of the machine with the drill rod just pushing up through the earth. And pretty soon there's guys will be attaching um, a Chinese finger mechanism and this will end up pulling the pipe back. What's that hook to the end of the of the Chinese finger deal? There's kind of knobs on it. It's the back reamer. It's called a back reamer. So as it's going through there it helps uh, make the hole a little bit larger? Is that the goal of it? Yep. Well, it re-drills and then this is the bearing so it doesn't twist the loop. Doesn't up. twist the pipes. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. So I'm going to spin it. Spin it. One more. A little more. A little more. A little more. more. That'll work. That's good. And on this head here, you see inside here is the uh, the radio sound that sends information back to the, uh, the directional drilling machine to tell the orientation, the depth, uh, etc. So it's all done under the earth. Um, inside this has a bunch of uh, batteries and uh, radio sonic control stuff. So what they're going to do now is they take off the uh, control head and then they're going to hook on the other device and then pull pipe back. And they have stretched out the geothermal loop pipe as you can see along the earth here above ground and uh, pretty soon they'll hook up and connect and pull all this tubing uh, under the earth back towards the machine. Or 
what do they call that piece that you're taking off now? The sand housing. The sand housing, and on the end of the sand housing, they usually have a drill bit um, as well to help uh, bore through the earth. Nice. Now you can see him attaching the uh, back boring tool. What's the cost of that machine, Tony? <laughs> about that mach the, the head you got right here that you're cleaning? Oh, these heads are about 1500 bucks, and then the electronics inside are about 4000 So you're looking at $5,500 just alone for this piece? Yeah, and the bit's about 200 bucks. so... Nice. Upwards of 6000 Nice. So hate to lose them too often. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we leave that part out. It's the first thing everyone wants to ask us. Well, I'm just doing it for the video sake. Oh. It's cool to watch other people work. <laughs> now you see him starting to pull this thing, the machine's pulling it back under the earth. These have those drill rods on the end, which are about uh, 20 some feet long. And then after it gets to the end, it takes one of the drill rods out, puts it back in the rack, and then the machine comes back and re-grabs uh, the next pipe and just keeps pulling it back and pulling it back. And they'll end up keep pulling it back till all the tubing is gone and it comes up the other end. This is basically a backward motion of the drilling and as he keeps bringing them back it's pulling the geopipe back with the rods. Eventually it'll end up like this where they're sticking out of the ground. And what happens it makes a big difference depending on the type of the geothermal loop field, how many of these are put into the ground. Also the soil conditions make a big difference on how deep they can get these into the ground. So every job is different designed by a geothermal professional such as ourselves, and uh, working in conjunction with good people like uh, Tony from Bestborn. Thank you sir. We are now down inside the house where we end up cutting out a hole approximately two foot by two foot and this is where the, the contractor will run the directional boring machine into this spot in the house so we can bring the header pipes from the loop field into the home to eventually connect to the geothermal loop field. And this is who we are, where we're from. This is how you can contact us if you have any interests in geothermal. Uh, we'd be glad to help you out and see if we can uh, make something work for your home or your business. Thank you for watching.